<laughs> Robert, I think he's waiting on you. No, guys, so they sit back and wait. This guy, he's standing here. Hold the sword out of the way. Okay, you're done. Now kill me. Appreciate you, buddy. And it's on easy. Can you pause it, Rob? Robert, hit the PlayStation button. Okay. Okay. Go ahead, Dad. <clears throat> you can't talk while he's reading. Not everyone's in here. Oh, Susan! They're listening. Go! Sarah, chill. I'm listening. Was the night before Christmas. Twitch ridge back and holler. No creature was twitching. Nary a hog that's the waller. <laughs> Each cheerful dark stocking were na nailed near the chimbley. <laughs> hoping that Santy'd be an extra bit friendly. <laughs> the young uns were snuggled, grub deep in the ticking, dream conjuring up. Oranges. You're doing good. You can read it all. And striped kikan. <laughs> Excuse me. Striped kikan de licking. Old Ma in her night dress, and me and my long johns was a snoring as happy as frogs in the lake ponds. <laughs> when up in the piney woods come a skip painter. Reach. Ain't heard such a ruckus since camp meeting preaching. Was that worthless hound blue with a growl full of shiver? Tried to crawl neath the bedstead. I threw it off the kipper. I grabbed for my rifle gun, most fired hit off too, then trembling in sock feet, near tripped on old blue. Air plank door creaked dreadful, just opened a mite, so as I know flat out certain, ain'ts walk through the night. There's a bright pumpkin moon. To bring moonshiners sara made it middle day brightness like the woods was afar kindly dreamy way yonder pure floating up air by my old tommy wagon and ate smoky bear with a sawed off old peddler as quick as a bainty he hit the womp like a mule kick. That had to be Satan. To beat human wings, birds' wings, that bear possum came, whilst he growled, gee, then all, as he hollered their names. On Bigfoot, on Henri, Molasses and Rambler, up yonder, up Growler, oh, on Gumption and Grumbler. Get over that hen house, light it for the shed. Now climb, you old honey bears. Just mind what I said. He's biddies from serpents. Your ma's striped cat. Fluster which way to go. <clears throat> Firstly this, then that. So's up to the tin roof, them spry varmints climb with a few good purdies. An old saney, by gum. And directly I heard such a terrible trumpin' like hail big s biscuit bread. Your store teeth a chompin'. Though I near met myself, turned quick as a toad, 
safety skinned down that chimbley before I ever knowed. He was snorting and fussing, stomping snow from his feet, brushing off some livings what stuck to his seat. He'd a mouth made for smiles, twice too big for his elf size, a red jelly mean nose and shoe button eyes. His breeches and coat was pure worryation of quilting piece patches to beat all creation. He wore spenders and belt like a man with a collar to persactly be certain his pants wasn't falling. <laughs> you can tell he liked vittles like stack cake and spoon bread and always to seconds when seconds was fed. He'd grandpappy whiskers but he, his twinkly eyes made him look like a young one whose smile never lies. He looked plumb full of happy, both cheeks puffed out wide like a chaw of tobacco, which <laughs> held in each side. A burnt black old corn cob he peered about to swallow. Every which way he goed, the smoke seemed to follow. He shouldered a tote, stuff to make your eyes shine, made him out some old trapper attending his line. He squinched up one eye and gave a how-de-do grin. Not an orphan nor a widder could have been a scared then. He was more than do than talk, to his shores bent his back, stuffed them stockings right quick, then hefted that there sack. Then a pint in me hush, till my set a spell frizz, was a meeting out nod, out in the chimney he riz. To his wagon he scrambled real squirrely and sprightly, Whoop them old bears kindly, soft and light and politely. He lit out a bellerin' like scared scalded pups. Old Sadie Red Wagon and Smoky Bear Cubs. But I give him a holler before he got clear. Merry Christmas, old boy. Y'all come back, you hear? <laughs> I can't feel my fire. <laughs> I can. <laughs> Who thought that? Uh, was? What was the other one that was about? It's the Cajun night before Christmas. Cajun night before Christmas, which is a little it? bit easier to read than that one. Oh, I thought Cajuns were hillbillies. So you says. <laughs> <laughs>